Today we're going to talk about Jordan Dominic's road to the NFL. But before we do all of that, do me a favor and hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. And don't forget to comment below. In today's segment of Sam's Take, I'll be discussing Jordan Dominic, one of my favorite defensive players for the Colorado Buffaloes last year. Operating as an outside linebacker, Dominic showcased star playmaking abilities on the field. Recently, he took a seat on the Reach the People podcast where he talked about his NFL journey and he gave insights as to what's coming up next. But before we delve into those details, here's a quick reminder of why Jordan Dominic is him. He's everything you want in a football player. He's just somebody that plays with such a high motor. You see the stuff play. Man, Jordan Dominic has been everywhere in this first quarter. Brought down. That was Jordan Dominic with the big sack of Bo Nick. Garber has done it. And now runs out of it. And he will be sacked. Jordan Dominic's made a couple of impact plays for this Buffalo defense. Dominic making the tackle. Gives it up. Whoa, what a tackle. Jordan Dominic dominating. Bam. Not a lot of room. Shot down. Jordan Dominic. Up next, Jordan talks NFL draft prep on a podcast with Reach the People Media. What about you, JD? Because your situation is a little bit different. Compared to all of us, your three months are going to look drastically different than ours. Yeah. So what? what are you, <laughs> and also with that two-part question, maybe we should have asked it at the beginning. But what are you currently working toward, and how does your current like life kind of look like right now in preparation for your? So goals? currently, my life right now is consisting of working out, uh, training for my pro day, which is next week on Thursday. Uh, I train over at Pivotal with Pat. I'm signed to Peter Schaefer and all of them, and. Honestly, it's just a grind. It's seriously a grind. When I tell you, it's a different grind. It's not the craziest grind I've ever been through, but it's such a different grind. And, like, you finding – you working different things in your body that you never thought you would work. You really fine-tuning the small muscles in your body. You really fine-tuning just, like, different things just to be able to work for the drills of pro day, you know? And, like, once you realize, oh, you working these muscles and everything and just working, like, these kinds of movements, these kinds of just, like, lateral side movements, being able to look and turn and just, you know, just get your body stronger in general and everything overall. Uh, as you go through that, like, you really learn, oh, this is how I can really become a better football player by doing this, by incorporating this into, even though it's not made for football, I can incorporate this into my drills, you know? And there you have it. Jordan is gearing up for Pro Day on March the 14th. If you're curious about what Pro Day entails, check out my update number two video on Xavier Weaver, where I delve into details. My dry prediction for Jordan Dominic is that I'll go in the seventh round or he might even become an undrafted free agent. If all of this fails, there's always the option of him heading to the CFL, which is the Canadian Football League. Well, that wraps up today's update. If you enjoy the content, please do me a favor by hitting the like button, dropping a comment, and subscribing to the channel. And of course, don't forget to share your thoughts below. Thanks for tuning in.